Thank you all for joining with us tonight. Let's come before the Lord and give him thanks. Pray for the peace of the world and those we know for ourselves. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, Lord make, make haste, haste to, to help us. us. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and to set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 61 Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. In despair and far from home, I call to you. Take me to a safe refuge, for you are my protector, my strong defence against my enemies. Let me live in your sanctuary all my life. Let me find safety under your wings. You have heard my promises, O God, and you have given me what belongs to those who honour you. Add many years to the king's life. Let him live on and on. May he rule forever in your presence, O God. Protect him with your constant love and faithfulness. So I will always sing praises to you, as I offer you daily what I have promised. Psalm 62 I wait patiently for God to save me. I depend on him alone. He alone protects and saves me. He is my defender, and I shall never be defeated. How much longer will all of you attack someone who is no stronger than a broken down fence? You only want to bring him down from his place of honour. You take pleasure in lies. You speak words of blessing, but in your heart you curse him. I depend on God alone. I put my hope in him. He alone protects and saves me. He is my defender, and I shall never be defeated. My salvation and honour depend on God. He is my strong protector. He is my shelter. Trust in God at all times, my people. Tell him all your troubles, for he is our refuge. Human beings are all like a puff of breath. Great and small alike are worthless. Put on them the scales. Put them on the scales and they weigh nothing. They are lighter than a mere breath. Don't put your trust in violence. Don't hope to gain anything by robbery. Even if your riches increase, don't depend on them. More than once I've heard God say that power belongs to him and that his love is constant. You yourself, O Lord, reward everyone according to their deeds. Psalm 64 I am in trouble, God. Listen to my prayer. I am afraid of my enemies. Save my life. Protect me from the plots of the wicked, from mobs of evil people. They sharpen their tongues like swords and aim cruel words like arrows. They are too quick to spread their shameless lies. They destroy good people with cowardly slander. They encourage each other in their evil plots. They, they talk about where they will place their traps. No one can see them, they say. They make evil plans and say, we have planned a perfect crime. The human heart and mind are a mystery. But God shoots his arrows at them, and suddenly they are wounded. He will destroy them because of those words. All who see them will shake their heads. They will all be afraid. They will think about what God has done 
and tell about his deeds. All righteous people will rejoice because of what the Lord has done. They will find safety in him. All good people will praise him. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father and, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Job 23 I still rebel and complain against God, cannot keep from groaning. How I wish I knew where to find him, and knew how to go where he is. I would state my case before him and present all the arguments in my favour. I want to know what he would say and how he would answer me. <clears throat> would God use all his strength against me? No, he would listen as I spoke. I am honest, I could reason with God. He would declare me innocent once and for all. I have searched in the east, but God is not there. I have not found him when I searched in the west. God has been at work in the north and the south, but still I have not seen him. Yet God knows every step I take. If he tests me, he will find me pure. I follow faithfully the road he chooses and never wander to either side. I always do what God commands. I will follow, I follow his will, not my own desires. He never changes. No one can oppose him or stop him from doing what he wants to do. He will fulfill what he has planned for me. That plan is just one of the many he has. I tremble with fear before him. Almighty God has destroyed my courage. It is God, not the dark, that makes me afraid, even though the darkness has made me blind. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. All nations shall, shall come and worship you, O Christ, Christ and, and share in the feast of your, your kingdom. kingdom. Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O ruler of the nations. Who shall not revere and praise your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship in your presence, for your just dealings have been revealed. To, to the, the one who sits, sits on the throne, throne and, and to, to the, the Lamb, <clears throat> be blessing and honour and, and glory and might, and might for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. All nations shall come and worship you, O Christ, and share in the feast of your kingdom. Romans chapter 10, verses 11 to the end. <clears throat> the scripture says, Whoever believes in him will not be disappointed. This includes everyone, because there's no difference between Jews and Gentiles. God is the same Lord of all, and richly blesses all who call unto him. As the scripture says, everyone who calls out to the Lord for help will be saved. But how can they call to him for help if they've not believed? And how can they believe? if they've not heard the message? And how can they hear if the message is not proclaimed? And how can the message be proclaimed if the messengers are not sent out? As the scripture says, how wonderful is the coming of messengers who bring good news. But not all have accepted the good news. Isaiah himself said, Lord, who believed our message? So then, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message comes through preaching Christ. But I ask, is it true that they did not hear the message? Of course they did. For as the scripture says, the sound of their voice went out to all the world. Their words reached the ends of the earth. Again I ask, did the people of Israel not understand? 
Moses himself is the first one to answer. I will use a so-called nation to make my people jealous, and by means of a nation of fools I will make my people angry. And Isaiah is even bolder when he says, I was found by those who were not looking for me. I appeared to those who were not asking for me. But concerning Israel, he says, All day long I held out my hands to welcome a disobedient and rebellious people. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, you are mine. Fear, Fear not, for, for I, I have, have redeemed, redeemed you. I have called you by name, you, you are, are mine. mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. I, I have, have called, called you, you by name, name you, you are, are mine. mine. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. You have filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children for ever. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. You have filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. So here we come, with a day like today, how can we not give thanks? How can we not praise the Lord our God for all that he gives us, for all that is good, for all that is kind and generous. So let's take a moment just to focus on the things, the things of the day, the people, the places, the people for whom we pray, for the world, the church and anything on your mind. Let us come before the Lord and pray. Father, as we hear a wagging tail hit a door, we think of the rhythms of life, of our coming in and our going out, of our growing up and our growing old. And Father, we give you thanks for this day, a day in which we sing your praise, a day in which we enjoy the life you have given us. And Father, though it be warm, next week will be cold and wet. So help us to seize the day as it presents itself, to take a, upon ourselves and into ourselves every opportunity, every blessing, every joy, and Lord, to rise to every challenge. We lift to you all that we are this day. For the things that bring you pleasure, and for the things that cause you perhaps to sigh. 
we thank you that you are a good, kind, caring and forgiving God. We thank you for all that you are in our lives and in the lives of those we know, for those we pray for and in our world as well. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. Father, with the warm weather and the bright sunshine, we find people flock into beauty spots and especially to the beaches with Bournemouth overflowing and other parts of the, the south coast to the extent that a, an emergency has been declared. A major incident because of the number of peoples coming together being far too close to each other and posing an infection risk to each other Lord we pray for those in our emergency services for those on the front line especially the police on days like this mm. as they try to manage the crowds, manage the behaviour, manage the social distancing with little power, with people who are bent on doing what they want to do mm. and not willing to listen. Lord, we pray for protection for those who have to go out and work in these places, picking up litter, those who work in the ice cream stands, the concession stands, those who work in the public lavatories. Those whose livelihood depends on them being present. but who are overwhelmed by the sheer number of people who are choosing to be there. Lord, we pray for wisdom among people. We pray for a return to the, the compassion and the common sense and the self-sacrifice that we saw at the beginning of this pandemic and at the beginning of lockdown when there was a willingness put our own needs and wants to one side for the greater good. Lord, we pray that the message would come across loud and clear that the virus is not gone and there is still an infection threat. Lord, we pray for your protection particularly on our police officers ambulance workers, frontline workers, that they would be protected from the virus as they go about their jobs. Lord, in your mercy, hear mm -hmm. our prayer. Father, we pray for peace and for calm in the people of our nation and across the European continent as virus cases begin to rise again for the first time in months. Father, we pray for this world of ours, which is strange, foolhardy, foolish and at times just plain stupid. 
Father, we pray for the Americas, the states across America are seeing rises. We pray for South America, where they say Brazil has not yet reached its peak. We pray especially for New York and for Texas as they struggle. For Putin, who has a parade and no one wears a mask and everyone is cheek by jowl. Father, to deny this virus, to consider it over is foolhardy. For those who say that it's made up and it's an attempt by the government to control is wicked. And for those who seek to spread fear and panic, it's cruel. Father, we pray for the world as it works to find a vaccine, as it works to contain the effects. We pray for those we know who this night with the news as is being broadcast, they find themselves reticent to go out. But Lord, we are not a people of fear, but neither are we a people of folly. Give us the wisdom to act rightly and to protect others and to protect ourselves. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, as Rebecca Long Bailey is sacked from the Labour Party, we pray again for all aspects of prejudice, all aspects of attitudes and understanding that treat one group of people differently to others because of their race, their religion, their skin colour, their sexuality, whatever it may be. Lord, and as we struggle as a, as a society to try to come to terms with the deep-seated racism that is inherent in our society, we pray that it would be done with compassion and with kindness and with understanding. Lord, this is not an issue that needs to be one side against the other. This is an issue where all sides need to come together and find, find the humanity that recognises every single person as made in your image yes. and valuable and cherished. Mm. So Lord, we pray that we would continue down this road as a country, as a society. We would learn the lessons and learn them well not just knee-jerk, not just overreact, but really allow you to circumcise our hearts mm. and give us a new way of thinking. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear oh. our prayer. Father, we continue to pray for those we know and love. We pray, Father, for all those who this day have troubles, afflictions, difficulties, challenges. We pray for those whose jobs are under threat, 
we pray for those those children not perhaps being in school mean that they can't work pray for those beset by cancers and other illnesses by those with mental health issues father we pray tonight that you would be god in the lives of all people that you would make yourself known that you would bring your healing your health and father your life-giving presence and though we've stopped praying for people as in thy kingdom come lord we lift to you tonight those we know and love who struggle and are far off and just need to know your love reach out your hand show your love and draw them to you we pray lord in your mercy hear our prayer faithful creator whose mercy never fails deepen our faithfulness to you and to your living word jesus christ our lord amen, amen. as our saviour taught us so we pray our, our father, father in, in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be your name, name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come your, your will, will be done, done on earth as in heaven Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And thanks be to you for joining with us. Have a great evening. Stay safe. And we will no doubt catch you sometime soon. Bye all.